the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Boxingboys.com. I'm here with uh, Joshua Greer. How you feeling today, champ? Oh, I'm feeling great. You know, another day, another dollar. You know, hard training camp. You know what I mean? I took no shortcuts. I'm feeling great. Okay, now we here at um, Hard Hand Promotions Press Conference. Um, uh, Devin Haney is the main event. Mm -hmm. um, we have a tough one in front of you as well. Uh, okay. su supposedly that's um, what it, what it, um, certain people say, but uh, to paper. me, yeah, on paper, you know. Uh, but um, to me, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I can't see that fight going the distance, you know. I'm coming to um, hurt this guy and uh, get him out of there. Okay, now so we, since we're talking about hurting and not going the distance, you know, for the people who don't know, I mean, if you've been sleeping underneath a rock or you've been in a cave. You definitely missed the night night. <laughs> yes, you yes. Come to the ring yeah. with a pillow that yes. says night night. Yeah, I gotta let them know. You know, I'm I'm, I'm warning you. You know. <laughs> Before we go into this guy going night night. Yeah. When did that start, man? When it did started. This... It started in Detroit. I fought this guy James Gwen Smith, and he was talking. Oh, I didn't have any power. And I told him at the uh, press conference then. I say, man, I hope they go wake you up after I put you to sleep. <sighs> and came fight night. You know, that's exactly what happened. So, hey, I walked it like I talked. <laughs> and so from, that, so from that point on, you said I'm taking the Yes, I, from that point on, that was me, and I'm going to continue to do that. And uh, I work hard, so it's gonna, I'm going to back it up every time. Okay. Now, at what round is he going night-night? I'm, I can't see him going past uh, six rounds with me. So okay. I'm thinking about, you know, arranging from the fifth or sixth round. How much do you know about your opponent? I know uh, me and him fought the same opponent. Uh, I'm very familiar with Barry Hunter. I got mad love for Barry Hunter, actually. Oh, uh, Coach Barry. Uh, yeah, he, he's a good great friend guy. of mine, great guy, Boog, all those uh, DC guys I got mad love for. So mm -hmm. um, I know them familiar. But uh, Desern, he, um, he, uh, he's, I seen him quit in fights against Adam Lopez. Yeah. Me and him fought Davila. He had a war with Davila. It was back and forth. I got Davila right out of there. Mm. You know, so I, I don't, this fight not going to distance. I don't plan on it. I'm going to be dominant. And I'm going to show that. Okay. Now, uh, you're 16 and 1? One. 1, yes. Okay, you have 8 knockouts. Yes. Okay. Um, your one loss came from a, a Steph, Philadelphia guy. Yes, yes. Steph, it came from uh, Stephen Fullerton. We fought a four-rounder in his hometown, Philadelphia, at the time. And I felt like uh, I actually won the fight, but they gave him the decision, which is cool. We asked for it back like three, four times for a rematch, and it happened. I moved on, and it is what it is. Would you like to get that back? Uh, definitely, like most definitely. You know, what I mean, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm proving in this game. I want to prove in this game that I'm one of the top prospects, and I'm going to be uh, something to be reckoned with in this boxing game. Period. I want to be the biggest name in boxing, so I will, I, I would love that back. Is Stephen Fulton going night night this time? Around? Yes, that most def that was a four round fight. You know, what I mean, that's still like amateur level. You know, what I mean, so. So, how many rounds would you need to say I'm guaranteed to get to because I, he, In four rounds, I had him done. So, I mean, mm. whether it's a six round or whatever, he's, I, I, I know how to put him away. You can stop stepping. Yes. That's what Mo, you're no, no, that's a fact. Mm. Okay, now, right now, as we mentioned, Devin Haney is the main event, right? Mm hmm. How long before we see you as the main event with the pillow? Oh, probably my next my next fight. You know what I mean? My next fight, I should be the main event. I felt like a little bit I should have been the main event of this fight, but actually, Devin Haney is a top prospect. He's a big name right now, mm -hmm. great fighter. Mason Menard has a great record, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's a better fight, you know what I mean? Because me and the Zern, it's not going to be totally one-sided. It's not going to be a great fight. A great fight is two fighters going back and forth. It's not going to be that. It's going to be straight a dominant performance by one fighter, me. Okay. Now, who are some of the people that you work with in training camp to get you ready for this fight? Did I you work, work with somebody that had, you know, that kind of married your opponent or you kind of just had your guys around? You know? Oh, man. I was in L.A. for training camp. Uh, I had all types of uh, sparring. I had Azat, the one that's fighting uh, Ray Vargas for the 122 WBC uh, belt. I had uh, Tug uh, from Mongolia, mm. silver medalist in the Olympics. And I had all type of all type of spawn. All every look that you can ask for, I had. And I, I've been in training camp for four four or five months, getting ready for this fight. You know what I mean? Just straight going to training, coming back home, eat, sleep, training. That's it. Is that overtraining? No, it's not overtraining because I didn't overtrain. I was just I'm just more focused. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh... Do you feel like, you know, let's talk about, um, when you say focus, I'm trying to understand, 
you know, why more focused because, you, because you're putting dudes to sleep. Yes, I've been, but you know, and being in Chicago, it's um, a lot of distractions and mm. we all know you could be minding your own business and back and come find you. So I had to get, exactly, I had to get out of Chicago where I could rest my mind in LA with no problems in anything and just focus on my craft. Okay, let's talk about this sensational knockout that went viral. Yeah. The whole world <laughs> saw it. I mean, yeah. I mean, there are dudes in Japan that's cringing at that yeah. knockout. Yeah. Yeah, I plan on making another one May 11. You know, to everybody tuning in the show box, and uh, I plan on have being on ESPN Top 10 Knockouts again, World Star, and all those other good websites again. Did you see that punch coming when you was backing up to the roots and he was walking? He was mm -hmm. kind. He was kind of walking mm -hmm. down. Did you see the punch coming? Yes, like I, I caught him with that same punch a couple times before with the right hand. So I threw the jab to to like just throw it out there, and then I came with an open hand right. But I moved my head to the side just in case if he threw a punch, that it'll go for my head, and that's exactly what happened. Was that the most beautiful knockout that you've ever seen? I mean, you could say that yeah. about yourself. It was. Yeah, it definitely was. Yeah. <laughs> it was it, once I watched it, watched it afterwards, I'm like, oh man, it, it, it was neat. How many times did you watch it? Uh, a lot. I still watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen, you want to let the people know where they can find you on social media? Man, you can follow me at Joshua Grid Jr. on Instagram, Twitter, and all my social media. Okay. Thank you for your time, Chad. No problem. Thank you for having me, bro. Okay. TheBoxingVoice.com. I'm Jay Goodman. Thanks for clicking on. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace. In the game,